Yoshi Springs. Perhaps someone at the inn can direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. My lord, would that be the blade of Clan Sakai? You know your swords. That is one worth knowing. I've heard tales of its sharp edge and beauty, but I never dreamed I'd see it in person. It has been some time since I trained on a bamboo stand. I would be honored to see your blade in action. The Sakai Steel is a truly fine blade, wielded by an even finer swordsman. But training with bamboo will only make you stronger. I'll need strength for what lies ahead. There are bamboo stands throughout the island. They will help sharpen your skills on the journey. Farewell, my lord. Sense for your uncle's well-being. A samurai? But I? I'm looking for Sensei Ishikawa. I thought he fell at Komoda. He didn't. Where is his dojo? To the forest. I can show you the way, my lord. Did the Sensei not fight at Komoda? No. He came to town for surprise the day before the invasion. Hardly spoke a word, but he's always been a private man. My lord, are the stories of Sensei Ishikawa true? What stories? They say he sank a pirate ship with a single arrow. <laughs> Not the ship, but he shot a pirate captain from the shore, routed the whole fleet. I'd hate to cross an archer like that. Do you deserve death? I hope not, my lord. Then you're safe from Ishikawa. The Sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. Thank you. I'll take it from here. One more question, my lord. May I ask why the Sensei left his post as archery master to Clan Nagao? No one knows. Strange. Giving up service to a great lord for... this. Sensei Ishikawa's dojo.
was a struggle here. Better look around. Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. Bloody footprints. The victim or the attacker? Maybe the sensei is in his house. Humble home for a samurai. Don't move, Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. <laughs> you survived Komoda. We could have used your bone. I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Hmm. Try and keep up, Sakai. Hmm. Who else made it out of Kumuda? No one knows. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. Tomoe? A woman? From what clan? No clan. A peasant. But she can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even you, Sakai. The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Instead, you took this Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe is a prodigy. Mongols, send your best warrior! They fight like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. <laughs> the moist trail picks up here. Come! The Mongols took Fort Nakayama. That patrol likely came from there. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Something happened here. An ambush. Look around. Rice and millet. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. Blood. But not much. No one died. A Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. I fear the worst. Tomoe would never leave that quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? 
Interrogation. Torture. Worse. They may be doing the same to Lord Shimura. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student, where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. The fort is nearby. You have something better to do? I should have fought that Komura with you. Better you didn't. You lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Stop here. We need to talk. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. And there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. Then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <sighs> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. Try it out before we go into battle. Aim for that lamp closest to us. Good. Now the one further down the road, on the left. Not bad. Let's see if you can hit the one furthest away. The further the target, the more your arrow drops. How does it feel? Like it was made for me. It wasn't. So take good care of it. Let's go. A bow like this would have helped at Komoda. It is a good bow. But victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Mongols fire weapons. And they have not yet won. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. We'll get a better look at the defenses from up there. Uh, this spot is perfect. I'll find a way in. Open the gate. Then we hit them. Do you always charge into battle with your Hakama half tied? You have a better idea? Patience, Sakai. The Mongols will send men to find their missing patrol. When they open the gates, we strike. The longer we delay, the longer Tomoe remains in danger. She can take care of herself. Survey the battlefield. What can we use to our advantage? Hornet nests. One shot could stir them up. Mm, the Mongols will face the sting of insects and arrows. Those barrels could do some damage. We'll find out. An arrow in those hanging lights will kick up sparks. <laughs> and start fires. They have many archers. They're skilled, but we are better. When the gates open, distract the enemy and rain arrows on their heads. Then we storm the fort. And free Tomoe. Good. Now we wait. They're opening the gates. Wait for my signal. Get ready. 
Now, send them to their ancestors. Slain prisoners. Tied up. Killed with arrows. Tomoe isn't... Wait. This pendant belongs to her. Search the fort! These arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught her to make the knock with deer horn. And that curve of the eagle feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongol shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. Huh. Then they allowed her to use a bow. Someone's personal quarters. A woman's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why?
scroll. Archery terms with Mongolian translations. Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them my way of the bow. Do you hear that? A survivor. For a woman, an archer. The Mongols caged her with us. But they set her free, gave her armor and a bow. She killed my wife and the others. The bodies we found. She proved her skill to the enemy. And they recruited her. Please. It it hurts. Don't leave. I've seen enough. Let's go. The Mongols will pay for the agony you endured. I should have killed her. Sensei? The Mori won her freedom. And she joined the Mongols. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Pushed her how? What are you hiding? Sensei! I demand an answer. She attacked me. Not bandits. Tomoe. Why? She has no idea what it means to be samurai. You drove her to the Mongols. Do not judge me. Do not lie to me. I can't let Tomoe teach my way of the bow to the enemy. Then we will stop her. This is my fight. I don't need your weapon. No, you need me. Victory is won by warriors, not weapons. Mm. Lord Shimura raised you well. We'll hunt them away together, but we do it my way. And when the time comes, you will help rescue my uncle. You have my word, Sakai. I will prepare to hunt Tomoe. When you are ready, meet me at my dojo. We can't rescue my uncle alone. I need more people to join our fight. Fine lady Masako Adachi. If she's still alive, she's one of the finest warriors on the island. More foxes around than usual? My lord, anything to offer from your hunting? So more people must be visiting the Inari shrines. Hmm. You may be right. What do you think they'll do to you? Nakami, protect your path, my lord. My mother believed Inari is my guardian. She saw a fox chasing fireflies outside our home the day I was born. She knew that foxes are Inari's messengers in our world. When you see one, always follow where it leads. I will. Thank you. Can't sleep. Not since I heard about those masked men hiding in the bamboo forests of Hyoshi. There's plenty to fear without worrying about folktales. Hmm. It's no folktale, my lord. They call themselves protectors of the great Uchitsune's longbow. Try to rest. I'll find out who these masked men really are. The musician in Hyoshi Springs can tell you more. But be careful, my lord. Some believe Uchitsune's curse lives on. Hmm? <laughs> Come on! Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale. 
of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori. The fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima, Shigenori, never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash, and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many. He's slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attack, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done.
Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself. Fight me! I don't see Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. What has Yasuhira been doing? have their own version of Shigenori's tale. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tale. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves? There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees. Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here. There it 
is white leaves like those bleached by lightning in the tail. Someone's being tortured. Don't make him bad. Tell me that Save me! Was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, save him. Yasuhira cannot learn the heavenly strike.
down in order to cross. Uh. Yes, we should have brought Mongols with him. Face me!
That must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhira Kuga, the butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. 